Howdy, howdy, everybody. How are y'all today? Today is Saturday. I said yesterday was Thursday. It wasn't. It was Friday. Today is the 25th. Today's 25th. And we getting ready to head over to work now. What time is it? It's early. 7, almost 7.30. Almost 7.30. I thought it was earlier than that. 7.27. Hmm. Anyhow, we heading over here to work. Yesterday, I didn't get any listing done. We got a bunch of the shelves done, the inventory get done. We just got to input it on the computer now. Oh, there's still one shelf inventory. Ooh. I got to get me a new mail for that thing. It's jumpy, going all over the place. But yeah, we're going to go over here. We'll show you what we've done so far and um, what we got to do. I got a list today. Like I say, I didn't get any done yesterday. We were over here until about 5 o'clock. We're going to get over here. We'll show you everything we've done. we got some orders going out this morning. It is Saturday, but we are going to ship this morning. And uh, I think we got, I don't know how many we got. I think we got five. And um, get them out. I mean, might as well. Amazon ain't shipping nothing. Some people need their stuff. But yeah, I appreciate y'all coming back and watching another video from me. And we almost here now, so let's jump right into it. Alrighty, everybody. So we're gonna show you what we've done so far. We moved this shelf that was over yonder over here now with some barrels on it. And um, my wife already labeled these shelves. She um, I didn't know what she did. This is shelf K. So we got K one, two, three, four, and we're not individually labeling the items on these. We'll just put the K one in the custom SKU, and we'll know it's on this shelf, the top of it. Same thing with this shelf, you know this shelf and these shelves they're all labeled like g h i j k this one's a um shelf one not sure we, we decided she decided to change it after she did that one but either way it'll work out and then um right here we got our shipping stuff that we stood over here where that black table was. We just got this a shipping table now. And then we just put this black table over here for the scale, the sealer, the bags, tapes, and all that kind of stuff, you know, because it's right here at our little box room. Um, we ain't done nothing back there yet. I'm going to put some frosted glass stuff, like spray paint, on these windows so it kind of blocks that junk out, kind of separated a little bit. Take you around this way now and show you this. So now we can put this desk here with the computer and the printer and all that on it. And then we moved our other desk over to here and that white cabinet over to there. And then we moved all the, the signs, the Nintendos, all that kind of stuff on this wall right here. Because um, now on, when we do live shows and stuff, we're going to do them from right here. So this will be the backdrop. And... Uh, Whenever I get, as I get everything packed up from there, I'm just gonna bring it over here and lay it out here so we can slap the labels on it. That's kind of the reason behind that. I'll get something else later maybe, I don't know. But um, this is where the tables were, you know, with all my stuff on them. And then here, I just slid this table down because all the signs and stuff was up here, you remember. And this is gonna be the photo area and cleaning area so we can clean the stuff, list it, and got my light up there on that tripod still. Um, this is gonna be where we do clothing. I just put it up right next to it, and I'm gonna get me another tripod. I got another light like that, and we'll just put it out here, you know, for that. But what I'm gonna do with these boards is I'm gonna paint them white, like a white wash on them, and this too. That way I can have a semi-white background instead of the old brown, or I'll just keep using the photo room app. But I'm gonna paint these, I think, and just give them a nice white wash to them. I think that'll look better. But that way that's both together. Um, we just moved these tables over here for now that we had the stuff on. Now it's just our death pile stuff. You know, just to clean that up a little bit. And 
I still got to go through this and do a purge on this stuff because a lot of it just ain't worth it. But we'll get into that later. And uh, now here's our shelving. Y'all can see there, we just put it out here in the middle. So we just got four right now. I'm gonna get four more though eventually. And I'm gonna put another one here and here. And then I'm gonna put, no, we're gonna get five more. Yeah, five more. One here, one here. And then we're gonna do three right here. And that'll get me pretty well on shelvings till we grow, you know. And as we need more, we can add more. I can push them closer together because, I mean, this right here is a pretty big gap. And, and then I got a pretty big gap in the middle of them this way. And then a huge gap over there. So we can condense down as we need it and uh, get more if we need them. So that's the plan with that. But we still got, we'll put three barrels here, three barrels here if we need to. You know, we can do it on each one because all these middles are full, empty. But um, I decided what I'm gonna do, instead of using the cardboard, like I said yesterday on this stuff, I'm gonna use these shelves for glassware. So as I need them for little things that'll fall through the cracks on these shelves, I'll just put it over here and move some of this bigger stuff to the shelving. And we got the, the top row, most of them pretty full. And um, these shelves are labeled the same way, L1, L2, L3. And that'll just go in the custom SKU and then I'll come over to the shelf. So that's how we got it so far. And I think it'll work out pretty well, maybe. As long as that big old creepy clown don't fly off the shelf. He doesn't know. Mm, possible though. So let's jump in, we got five orders going out. Yep, five. So let's get them pulled and get them going out. So first thing we got to pull, we still got to input the custom SKUs in, but she did go ahead and write them down for me. So the Molly pouch is in D1. So now we got to go to D1, which is going to be right over here on this shelf. I see D1. So no more. I ain't got to hunt for this stuff anymore. I can just go right to it, and that's great. This is just a Molly AR-15 um, 30 round mag pouch. This sold for 11.82 free shipping. Next thing we sold is a projector. I'll leave it to last, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. It's that Califone overhead school projector right here. Y'all can see that. And um, picked that up for like four or $5 at a yard sale. And it sold for 57.74 plus shipping. The total was like uh, 98 dollars $99, something like that. C1, now we got to pull a Cobra go-kart pull cord. So C1. Right here. This is just a pull, a pull cord. It's like guaranteed not to ever break. It's made of some kind of nylon, I think. This sold for $15.39 plus shipping. Now we got to go to C1 and pull a game camera. Back to the same barrel ain't it? So this right here is a stealth cam game camera. This is a model STC QS 12 FX version two. And this sold for 3079 plus shipping. Now we got to pull a horse trophy. All right, here we're looking for F. I bought a bunch of these horse trophies at a flea market. And I just, they're all vintage. Here it is. And this one, I already got them packed in a poly bag and bubble mail. I mean, bubble wrap. But you'll see a comp on the screen of it. And this sold for $50.04 free shipping. I'll wrap some more bubble wrap around it and put it in a box and we'll send that out. So one two three four plus the projector as our orders going out today we're gonna get this stuff packed up and sent out all righty so we're doing the custom skews as you can see here and we're just editing them in and basically what we're gonna do is we just got everything labeled so like christmas light bulbs you ain't got to type in the full thing she's just typing in bulb and then press enter in your search bar and pull up all the bulbs 
And then right there, she can go over to the right. Well, you can come in the screen. Where it says custom label right here. And then click edit, and then we'll type in B1. See that? And click submit. And then that'll save B1 in that custom SKU form. And then whenever she goes on to the next one, she'll do, she's marking them off as she goes, but she'll scroll up, type in Dymo, enter, and pulls that up. So then custom label again, B1, submit. And then we'll just go down through there and do them all that way. That's a good, easy way to put in custom SKUs. And that way everything will be labeled up and ready to go. Alrighty guys and gals, it is currently like 10 o'clock, 9.35. We gotta take our packages and put on the porch on Saturdays. The mailman, he runs early. And uh, I was gonna take his time to answer John's question. He asked me yesterday. He asked why we didn't open up our place here and let people come in and buy stuff as like a store or a shop. Well, the main reason is I'm, I'm an introvert. I don't like people. I don't like dealing with the public. It's the reason I sell online. I used to have a thrift store in the same town as here. And we got a thrift store right next to us. And that lady, she may be going out. She's got some health issues and being shut down this long. She told me, um, they told me yesterday they got to do something. So, and all her help moved to a different state. So she may be shutting down soon. So as far as my building goes, I want to keep it just straight online stuff as far as eBay and Amazon goes. And um, because I really have big plans to scale up our eBay and Amazon this year. So we're going to need all the space we can get. However, in the future, if she does go out, I may do a get that place too and then open up a, a shop in there, you know, for junk that ain't really worth nothing. For the stuff that we don't sell. Yeah, for the stuff we don't sell online. But I mean, as far as that goes, we'll have to cross that bridge when it gets there. But I'm I'm definitely considering that. But as far as my little place goes, I want to keep it just straight online e-commerce, you know, because Amazon and eBay are going to keep us full throttle as it is coming up as soon as this pandemic's over. But we may in the future get that place right next door and leave it open. I mean, while one of us is in the online spot listing and working up and could be over there or something. I don't know. Alternate days. But it's something to figure out and think about. But right now we're just going to stick online in our place. I don't want people coming in there spreading their germs. But that's a good question. So, I mean, in the future we may, we may do something. I don't know. Right now we ain't. Alrighty guys and gals, so we got some stuff over here we're working on listing. Just made me a cup of coffee. It is currently uh, 10.30. So she's over here putting in custom skis. We're gonna work here the rest of the day. And tomorrow we're gonna do a live show. So you'll see it scheduled probably be around one o'clock central time in between services or well, online church services. So it'll be about one o'clock probably central time, two o'clock Eastern, and then whatever else that is Pacific. Anyhow, so yeah, y'all watch out for that. Appreciate y'all watching this video. If you will, hit that thumbs up button for me. And we're gonna see you guys and gals tomorrow. So you all take care and stay safe.